baseball fought its way through a memorable, and memorably short, 2020 season, but it returns to something similar to normal today, with most teams in action for Game 1 of what is expected to be a full 162-game season. The pandemic is far from over, stadiums are not yet back to full capacity, and all eyes will be on pitches to see what effects a truncated workload last season will have on their long-term health. But there is also optimism to be found as teams return to their daily rhythms, crowds once again begin to gather and the focus can start to return to the game itself. We will be following all the action of opening day with live updates, photos, highlights, observations from inside stadiums and more. The Yankees are leading the Toronto Blue Jays, 2-1, after three innings thanks to a two-run homer by Gary Sanchez, who is badly hoping to erase his poor 2020 season. The fans in Yankee Stadium have been enthusiastic, even if their numbers are relatively small, and the sun is out after a chilly and rainy morning. Miguel Cabrera of the Detroit Tigers set a personal goal of reaching 500 career home runs this season, and he is 1 13th of the way there after belting a 349-foot opposite field shot off Cleveland's Shane Bieber in the first inning of their game at Comerica Park. For some players, coaches, executives and fans, Thursday is just one of many opening days. But for one particular player, Lucas Luetga, this opening day is special even though it isn't his first. It's certainly his most memorable. And hearing the left-handed reliever talk about it before Thursday's game between the Yankees and Toronto Blue Jays served as a reminder of his appreciation. Luetga, 34, last pitched in the major leagues in 2015 with the Seattle Mariners. After a long, winding road, and many stops throughout the minor leagues, Luetga made the Yankees opening day roster. He signed a minor league deal with them in the offseason with no promise of cracking the major league roster, but he impressed officials with his pitching and attitude. He struck out 18 in nine spring training games. The Yankees gave him the good news earlier this week. By the end of the day, I had a headache and my jaw was hurting from smiling, he said. Everything I had been hoping for the last five, six years finally came through and you just feel that sense of joy again. Lou Edgar said he tried staying calm on the way to Yankee Stadium on Thursday morning, even though he did not yet know if he would appear in the game. This day was anything but normal for him. I'm going to take it all in, he said. When you're out of the game or the big leagues for so long, you know how quick it can go from you. While you're up here, it seems like you're going to be here forever. So I kind of have that appreciation to take it all in, look around the stadium, enjoy it, instead of trying to look cool and act like you don't care. We could all be a little more like Lou Edgar.